and welcome to another one of these revision walkthrough sessions. This time we're looking at the hands that we played on the 18th of May, the 12 boards for the, our second revision session, which covered lessons 6 to 8. Uh, same as last time, if you need to get the hand records, they're on the NZ Bridge website. There'll be a link to that in the description. And hopefully everything that I do matches what they do. Um, so we'll get straight into it. So board one, as last time I'll show all of the hands for the bidding and then put robots in place of the defenders for the play of the hand so that uh, as declarer we're not, we're not actually able to see all the cards to know exactly what the best play is. But uh, starting with hand one, North has only got one point so they're just going to pass. Uh, east, 4, 7, 11 points, not quite enough to open, just pass. South has got 2, 5, 6, 8, 11, 12 points. They're going to open their longer suit, which is one spade. Now West has got quite a nice hand here, 4, 7, 8, 12, 14, 16 points. 16 points, it meets our definition of a balanced hand, just contains the one doubleton, no five card major, and we have, most crucially, we have a good hold in spades, ace, king, jack, which is pretty nice. So with that hand, we are able to one, overcall one no trump showing 16 to 18 points, a balanced hand, and promising cover in spades. West will be overcalling one no trump. North has absolutely nothing to say. There's no spade fit. Again, just one point. They're just going to pass. Now, East, their hand's not looking so bad now when once they know that their partner's got at least 16 points. They must have 27, at least 27 between them, so they, they need to be in game in something. Uh, East doesn't have a long suit that they can call. Remember that the responses to a 1-no trump overcall are very similar to responses to an opening 1-no trump bid. The only difference is that the point ranges are altered slightly because the 1-no trump overcall is so much stronger. So in this case, we respond to the one no trump overcall considering our hand as balanced okay which means with zero to seven points we would just pass with eight points we can invite to two no trump three with anything better and we're just going straight to three no trump because we know we've got enough points for game so that's what we're going to do here we can see that there's actually a heart fit uh, but at this point in time we haven't given you the tools to find that heart fit. But when you once you get everything that we've taught you, you get that down. One of the first things that you'll learn in Improvers Lessons is a, a convention that will allow you to find that 4-4 heart fit. But for the time being, we're just going to have to bid 3-no trump here. 3-no trump. And everyone else is just going to pass. And that is where we will play. Uh, North has to make the opening lead. Their partner opened uh, open spades, opened the bidding with spades, so the obvious thing to lead is a spade. In this case, we're going to lead the top of our doubleton, the ten of spades. It's also the top of nothing. Ten of spade lead. And now we will hide the defenders. We have to go through this rigmarole, just like last time, each time, and put robots in place. Robot. And then because bridge base is a little bit broken, I also have to do this little thing so that they'll disappear. There we go. Okay, so now we can't see the defender's hands, which is nice. 
So we're playing in three no trumps. That means we need to look at our certain winners. So in spades, we actually have three certain winners. Because the opposition has led a spade, there is no way we're not going to make our jack of spades now. Either south is going to put the queen up, and we're going to squash that with the ace, therefore promoting our jack, or our, if south plays low, we're just going to put our jack up and win outright. So we've actually got three certain winners in spades now. In hearts, we only have one, but we do have a fit in hearts, so that's probably a suit we'll look to make extra tricks. Clubs, we've got the ace-king, that's two. And in diamonds, we just have one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven certain winners, so we're actually two short. Okay, so we need to try and find two more tricks. Uh, we've got a couple of options for that. If the king of hearts is with south, then we can finesse that. Play through to the, the queen, play from dummy, which is east, through to the queen. And... If the king is with south, then the queen will win. That gives us an extra trick. We can also potentially set up another trick in hearts because we have an eight-card suit. So the defenders are likely to split 3-2 in the heart suit, 60-something percent. Um, so if the finesse works, we can take the ace, we can give them a heart trick, and hopefully at that point we will have set up a f another trick in the heart suit. The other thing we can look at is the diamond suit. If south holds the king of diamonds, we can lead from dummy towards the queen of diamonds, thereby finessing the king of diamonds. So if, if south is holding the king of diamonds, then we can make our queen of diamonds at some point. So that will be our plan of attack and if all of those things work then we will actually be able to make an over trick so for now south plays low so we can win with our jack and we're just going to leave the spade suit alone for now and tackle the heart suit but I need to cross to dummy to do that so over we go I'll run that heart finesse is the jack. Okay, so south almost certainly has the king, or else north is just trying to be clever. We're still missing the ten and the king. I might just leave the clubs alone. In case I do need to run that diamond finesse, I need a way to get over there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Oh, there's the king. Okay, so very likely north now has the ten of hearts, and we're just going to give them that trick. And we've set up a fourth heart trick now. Continuing in spades, that's fine. I've left my spades spade winners intact. Now I can take my heart trick. And with the king of spades, the king of clubs, and the ace of diamonds, that's the three more tricks that I need to secure my contract. Uh, interesting, they've thrown out a couple of clubs there. So if I cross to the king of clubs... See if this diamond finesse works. Oh, there's the king of diamonds. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get a chance to make my extra diamond, though. Unless the jack falls. I made my nine tricks, there's the jack of diamonds, and they should win the last one, another spade. There we go, we made, our, we made our nine tricks. I decided to look for both of my winning tricks in the heart suit, because 
there is quite a good chance that the hearts will split 3-2. So once that heart finesse works, then my next best shot at another trick is for the for the heart suit to behave. So once I'd done that, we were all set. We knew in our three no trump contract was safe. Okay, now I have to remember to kick the robots out or they'll start bidding. So that was a nice example of how a contract that looks a bit out of reach can be made with just a little bit of planning. Look at what your options are. And on to hand two. Okay. So, east. 4, 7, 8, 12, 15, 16. Nice hand. Not balanced. They've got two doubletons. So they're going to open their longer suit, which is clubs. One club. South. They they have some length in diamonds. They could maybe consider a diamond over call, but they've only got one honour. Remember that we need two honours in our suit. It needs to be a good suit to be worth an over call, and a good suit contains two honours. So south will just pass. Uh, west has got 3, 5, 9, 10 points, so they're certainly going to be saying something to their partner. Remember they only need half of what the opener needs, which is 6 points to say something. So, two four-card suits. We bid the lowest available of our four-card suits, which is whichever one keeps the bidding the lowest. So in this case, one heart. North has got seven points also, and a long spade suit, but again, only one honour. It's not good enough for an overcall, so they're just going to pass. Now, East likes hearts. They've also got four hearts, so they're going to confirm that heart fit. At what level? We've got 16 points, was it? 4, 7, 8, 12, 15, 16 points, okay. So we're above that minimum level of 12 to 15, but we're not good enough to go leaping straight to game, given our partner might only have 6 points. We need 18, 19 to go straight to game. So we're in that invitational level, the, the 3 level where we ask our partner, how good is your hand? So 3 heart, invitational bid. Hey partner, we've got a fit, how good is your hand? Three, five, nine, ten points. It's pretty good. It's certainly better than that. The minimum of six, and our partner with their three heart bid has promised sixteen to seventeen. So with our ten points, that's twenty six, twenty seven points, easily enough for game. So it's an easy call to four hearts. And pass, pass, pass. That is where we will play. So there hasn't been any bidding from north and south. So north is probably. Just going to lead from their spade suit, their long suit. It's got some honours to talk about as well. So when we've got an honour in a suit, we lead low to show that we've got a bit of something in that suit. So I'll lead the two of spades. And we will hide all these people away again. Bit of a process. My apologies, but it's good to have the mystery during the play of the hand. It's been doubly uncooperative this week, forcing me to do the checkbox twice. Okay, so we're playing in four hearts. Now we look at what losers we have. So the heart suit, our trump suit, is very solid apart from the fact we're missing the ace of hearts so guarantee we lose one heart but everything else is going to be just fine so we've got one heart loser the spade suit we have the top two spades and a doubleton and dummy so we can potentially rough two spades but 
by the time we've drawn trumps, we're only going to have one trump left to rough with. So, and that's assuming that the trump split three two. So for for now, let's assume that we do have a spade loser in this long spade suit that we've got to do something with. Diamonds, we've definitely got a loser in diamonds. So a loser in spades, a loser in heart, a loser in diamonds. And the club suit, we don't have any losers in clubs. But again, we've got a lot of length in dummy, and we're not going to have enough hearts to rough all of those with. So we might have to try and force the Queen of Clubs out and then we can, once that suit is set up, then we can look at using a couple of clubs to throw out Spade and Diamond losers. So that will be my plan, I think. For now, I am going to let the Spade lead run around to my hand just in case North has led away from Queen Jack and I might be able to win with the 10. It's a long shot. See what happens. Nope, no good. So North, we can we can surmise that North very likely has the Queen of Spades based on that lead. Win it with the King. And let's set about drawing some trumps. This was missing five. They both followed suit, so I'm still missing three hearts. Win the diamond. Two. One. Okay. One more heart. There it is. I'm going to leave the jack of hearts and dummy just in case I need some sort of an entry back to my clubs but I'm hope, hoping not that the ace of spades will be enough but the clubs are actually more likely to split 4-2 than they are 3-3 so I may need to get over there twice ace of clubs okay So there's still two clubs out there. So what I can look at doing here, I could just play the five of clubs and rough it and hope that they split evenly, in which case the queen will come out with the last club and my jack and ten and dummy here will both be good. But given that it's more likely to split badly, I might actually play the Jack of Clubs now. And throw out a spade on that. Unless South puts the Queen up for me. Jack of Clubs, no Queen. So I'm going to throw out a spade now. Okay. That was unfortunate. So I could have I could have just roughed and let them both drop. But that's fine. So both of my clubs and dummy are good. The ace of spades is good. And obviously the, the jack of hearts. So they're all there now. Can play out my clubs. And then the last heart. And we make our contract. So we we could have made five there because of the, the clubs. You can see there the club split 3-3, three, three, which is about a 35% probability that that will happen for you, uh, which is why I took the other the other option. Um, the, what that means is I could have just played the five of clubs and roughed that and then crossed back to the ace of spades, and both these clubs are now good, and I can throw out a couple of losers. So, in that way, we could have made five hearts, made an overtrick. 
unfortunately sometimes the safest play is not the correct play but you just never know oh remove the robots okay so that's hand two done and dusted oops gonna put them back in again Okay, on to hand three. Right, south is dealer. Two, six, nine, nineteen, twelve points. It's good enough to open. Definitely not a balanced hand. We've got a singleton here. So we're going to open our longer suit, which is one club. West has got four, seven, eight, ten, twelve points. Absolutely nothing in clubs. They can't overcall their diamonds because they don't have enough honours. And they actually have a better bid anyway. So, with an opening hand, a shortage in the opposition suit, and at least three cards in all the other suits, we can do a takeout double. And we would prefer to do a takeout double to overcalling a minor anyway, if we have the option. So this is great. This is a this is a beautiful hand for a takeout double. Okay. North really doesn't have anything to say to their partner. They've only got three points. So they are going to pass. Now, East. Remember that if there has been a pass after the double, as there has here, North has passed. East must bid again, even with zero points. In this case, East actually has a pretty lovely hand. 4, 5, 9, 12, 13. So they've got an opening hand of their own. Opposite their partner, who we, we know must have an opening hand in order to have done their takeout double. So 12 points West, 13 points East. We've got the 25 points we need for game. So... We've just got to figure out where we play. Uh, East really doesn't have a suit that's worth bidding. Their, their suit is clubs, which is the opposition suit. So they're not going to bid clubs. And the hold in clubs is perfect for no trumps. So we're actually going to go straight to three no trumps. And we're taking a little bit of a punt. We're hoping that our partner has got something in hearts and spades because we have absolutely nothing. But what we know is we've got most of the diamond honours and between us and South, we've probably also got most of the club honours. So our partner's points are very likely to be in spades and hearts. Okay? So... It's, it's a risk worth taking. The other thing is, the lead is very likely to be a club anyway. So, three no trumps. And everyone will pass. Alright, so, south... South has a couple of options here. They could lead a club. It is their longer suit. It makes sense to lead a club. And just because East has promised a cover in clubs, they might only have just maybe just the ace. They might just have one cover, one hold in clubs. In which case, if you can knock that out, and then at some point during the hand get the lead back, then you can cash in all those club tricks. The other option is to lead a heart, because we know that East has cover in clubs, so maybe it's fruitless, the club suit. Our holding in clubs isn't that great, really. 
Um, we could possibly look to lead a heart. We've got a, a broken sequence there of Ace King Jack. Uh, in this case, the sheet is suggesting that we we do the sensible thing and and stick with the club suit and see if we can create some magic in that suit at some point during the hand. So if we're going to lead that club suit, we're going to lead small to promise an honour in the suit and deny a sequence. If we had a sequence of honours, we would lead that. That's always the best. So small club lead. Now we seat the robots. Hoping I could trick it, but no. There we go. Okay. So we're playing in three no trumps. So we count our certain winners. We have the ace king of spades, two spade winners. Uh, nothing in hearts, just the ace of clubs, and quite a nice diamond suit. So we've actually got a nine card diamond suit and we hold the top four diamond honors so even if the diamonds split 4-0 we guarantee to make all of our diamonds because we can cover those four diamonds that the opposition might hold so we can we can say that we've got five diamond winners so five six seven eight so we're one we're one trick short okay our extra trick is not going to come from diamonds. That's We've tapped that suit already. We've got an option to finesse the spades. If south holds the queen of spades, we can finesse that. That could get us our extra trick. The other possibility is on this club lead, if north puts up one of the honours, one of the king or the queen, we can win that with our cl with our ace. We can force out the other honor with the jack, and then our ten of clubs becomes good. Okay. The risk is the heart suit. Our hearts, our heart holding is pretty dodgy. If, for example, North holds the ace king of hearts and south holds the jack ten south can lead the jack of hearts and pin our queen between the jack and the honors held by north so there is some danger in the heart suit which might that might change the way that we think about things that might mean that we prefer to just try for the spade finesse because then north will be on lead, which is preferable, although still not guaranteed to keep us out of trouble because if south and north hold, one of them holds the ace, one holds the king, they can easily cross and potentially still qu cross our, uh, still squash our queen of hearts. So yeah, it's a, it is a troubling scenario. I'm going to throw out the nine of spades here just because I don't want I definitely don't want to throw out a diamond. All these are winners. I need to keep all five. And I'm worried about the hearts. I might need to keep a little bit of length in hearts potentially in case things get a bit tumultuous. Okay, there goes the king of clubs. South probably has the queen of clubs another reason to try the spade finesse first because I'd much rather give the lead to north than to south and, and have them leading around to my hearts okay for now take the ace of clubs and I'm going to try I'll take uh,
just in case. You never know, you might find a singleton queen of spades. It's not very likely when we only had six cards in the suit, but you never know. So I'll just do that before I run the spade finesse. And that worked. So we're all good. We're safe for our three no trump. So I'm not going to muck around. I'm not going to try and set up a club trick because I'm just too worried about, about what could go wrong in hearts. I'm just going to take my nine tricks and then let them have whatever whatever they want to take. Maybe we'll pick up a trick somewhere at the end here. Queen of clubs. Uh, so I'm still likely to lose the ace and king of hearts. Yeah, there we go. We made our three no trumps. So... There we go. So interestingly, I see on the sheet here it says that the preferred play is to is to set up the trick in clubs, uh, and perhaps that's because it's it's guaranteed to work. Um, but I I was worried about the heart suit, and maybe it, maybe it was needless worry because we did have six cards in the heart suit. Perhaps the, the chances of things going wrong were there were lower than I had thought. But there we go. There's an alternate line of play from what's suggested on the sheet. And it worked for us because the Queen of Spades was in the right spot. Get rid of the robots. So that was three no trumps in a particularly unbalanced. I mean, uh, we had a void and dummy playing in three no trumps with a void and dummy, and it worked out okay. Sometimes those situations can result in problems with communication. It also means you can't run any finesses in that suit because you've got no way of leading. And now we're on to hand number four. This time West is de dealer. We've got three, six, eight, eleven, twelve points. Not balanced, singleton heart. So we'll open our long club suit. North has got three, seven, nine points. Uh, diamond suit, but only one honor. And then really absolutely nothing under that one honor. So there's no overcall from North, they're passing. East, 4, 6, 10, 11, 15 points opposite their partner's opening bid. That's quite nice. So they are going to respond with their longer suit. Remember, only at the one level. We don't go leaping off to the two level unnecessarily when we still haven't found a fit. So our one spade bid only promises six points, but it's unlimited. It's six plus, and our partner has to bid again. South has only got four points, so nothing to say. Okay. Well, don't like spades. My partner might only have four spades. So there's we don't yet know if there is a spade fit. We've only got just just the bear twelve point. We don't have a second suit to show. We're not balanced, there's, there's no no trump bidding happening here. We can't support our partner. So we're just going to have to rebid our clubs. Unfortunately, we can't rebid them at the three level, which would promise a six card suit, because we need to have 16 points to do that. So we're just going to have to bid two clubs, which promises five clubs and 12 to 15 points. Two clubs. Pass again. Now, we need to get across to our partner that we have a five card spade suit. We also need to tell them about our four card heart suit because 
it is possible that our partner has a four card heart suit but they couldn't bid it because that would be breaking the barrier remember our partner west opened one club so the barrier for them was two clubs if their second bid was higher than two clubs it would promise 16 or more points so it is possible that they have a four card heart suit that they couldn't bid because they're in that 12 to 15 point range so it is worth showing our heart suit which at the same time will show that we have five spades okay but we need to be a little bit more forceful than just going two hearts that's, that's not strong enough so we're going to jump up to the three level and that's going to tell our partner not only do we have five spades and four hearts we've also got a hand that is big enough to force to game so our partner can then choose do we have a spade fit do we have a heart fit or are we playing in three no trumps they've got three options for what game contract to play in right, three hearts back to west they now know east has east must have a five card spade suit or they wouldn't have bid spades and then hearts if they were four hearts four spades they would have bid hearts first the lowest available suit if you've got two four card suits so just like opening they must have five spades and four hearts to have started with the higher suit okay so we know we've got a spade fit now we know that our partner is forcing to game with their their jump rebid and therefore we're going to go to game in spades four spades and everyone will pass okay south is on lead the only suit that hasn't been bid is diamonds so I would suggest we're going to bid the ten of diamonds the top of our sequence here and the top of nothing in particular ten of diamonds put the robots in and hide the defense's hands okay so four spades we need to look at what losers we have so uh, if the spade suit behaves we don't have any losers if it doesn't we may have one loser that we need to take care of and if the spade sl suit splits 4-1 and north holds 4 to the jack we're going to be able to finesse the jack of spades so that that will also be okay so for now we'll, we'll say that we have no spade losers and we can reevaluate if we get ourselves into trouble uh, we've got three heart losers here so although we only have a singleton and dummy that is the short spade hand so by the time we're done drawing trumps there won't be any left in this hand and therefore we'll still have a bunch of heart tricks that we need to rough so we actually have three losers and hearts that we need to consider what to do with and clubs well we've got a nine card fit in clubs that's quite nice but we may still lose two tricks potentially if for example north holds three clubs to the ace jack we're going to lose two club tricks so that's the worst case scenario two club losers diamonds we're all good nothing to worry about there okay so three heart losers and two club losers that's two more than what we are allowed what we do have is the king of diamonds we're going to win this first trick with the ace of diamonds and then the king of diamonds is available to throw out 
one of our heart losers. So that's one taken care of. We just got to find one more. And that will likely come from the club suit. We're going to hope the club suit isn't as badly isn't so badly behaved that we've got two losers in that suit. Um, and even if it is even if we do lose two clubs, we're still going to have set the suit up and we can use use that to throw out hearts. Our other option is we can rough some hearts. So we could, before we draw all the trumps, we could win the ace of hearts and then rough one, maybe even two spades with our small spades over there. We can't use the king of spades for roughing because we need that to actually draw trumps. So that's also an excellent option. And then we don't have to worry about what happens with the club suit. So win the ace of diamonds. Let's take that option. Rough a heart. Now we have to find a way back to our hand. Do it again. So we could rough a diamond. Rough the jack of diamonds. Rough another heart. So now we can actually throw out our last heart while we're here. I should really have played a spade first, probably would have been safer. Right, remember we're missing five spades. Four, three. Now we're just going to have to lead the king of clubs. Force out the ace. We don't really care if we lose two club tricks anymore. Okay. And they're leading trumps for us. Okay, that's two, one trump left, so that's all looking good. Draw the last trump. Now we're going to cross over to the queen of clubs. There's the jack. The 10 has already been played. I don't know if you noticed. Um, but the 10 was played earlier, so now our... Well, all, all the clubs are good. We, we've drawn all the clubs out as well. They, they split 2-2 two, two for us, which was nice. So that one will win. We actually made six spades. So we turned five losers into one by roughing our heart tricks and our club suit behaving itself, as you can see there, 2-2 two, two split and clubs. Sorry, we roughed two hearts and we threw a heart away on the King of Diamonds. That's how we got rid of three heart losers and we, we allowed for two club losers but there was only one, which was always going to be the Ace of Clubs. And the trump suit behaved itself at split 3-2, so we didn't have to worry about a, a bad break in spades. So that all played very nicely. Set myself back down. And on to board number five. North is declarer, sorry, dealer, not declarer. They've got 4, 6, 10, 12 points, so they are going to open. They are not balanced, so we can't open one no trump. Singleton heart here. Our longest suit is diamonds, we open that. 3, 5, 8, 9 points for east. And a 5 card heart suit to the king queen. So we've got two honours, five card suit, that's good enough to overcall one heart. Remember it's only overcalling at the two level that we need. 
a few more points closer to an opening hand. Nine points is more than enough to overcall at the one level. Okay, south three, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve. Okay, so certainly they're going to be doing something here. We're going to want to show our long spade suit. We don't have a, pit, a fit with our partner's diamonds. Even if we did, we'd still show our spade suit. Just in case we have a spade fit, we can come back to diamonds any time we like. On spade. Okay. Seven points by west. And a heart fit. Guaranteed quite a nice heart fit. A nine card heart fit. Our partner East must have five hearts to be overcalling, and so we must have a nine card heart fit. But with seven points, we're just going to keep it at the two level. Show them, yes, we have support, but we've only got a weak hand. Okay, North. They like the spade suit suggested by their partner so they're going to support that just a matter of figuring out what level and they are just the bare minimum 12 points so they're just going to keep the bidding low bid two spades shows the spade fit but just promises 12 to 15 points just a minimum hand east doesn't really have anything more to say they they don't have a huge number of points themselves. So just pass. And south once they know about the spade fit. Three, five, six, seven, they they've also got an opening hand, so you've got two opening hands opposite e each other. They must have at least twenty four points. There's also the singleton. Those shortages are nice in suit contracts, so that that's easily good enough to go straight to game, straight to four spades. Even if our partner is just minimum with 12 points. And that is where we will play. Okay, West, they're obviously going to make a heart lead. That's what the East and West have talked about. We do not under lead aces in suit contracts. You remember I talked about that in the last video. Uh, the reason for this being, and you can actually see it because I haven't hidden the the cards yet, but if North, say, had a singleton heart, which they do, and their partner South had the king of hearts, which they don't on this occasion, but if they did, and you led small from your ace, which we call under leading an ace, then you lead small, Singleton disappears. The king, if it were with south, would win the trick. And now you're not going to make your ace of hearts because north would be void in hearts. That is the reason that we don't underlead aces in suit contracts. Okay, you can do it in no trumps, but not in a suit contract. So if we're going to lead hearts, which we should, because that's the suit we've talked to our partner about, we're going to have to lead the ace of hearts. Okay, Ace of Heart lead. Put the robots back in. And hide those hands. There we go. Okay. Playing in four spades. We need to look at our losers. We are certainly not going to lose any spades. There's only four spades missing and we have the top four honours. So the spade suit is solid. Obviously we're going to lose a heart right now. We've got a heart loser. We might have more heart losers if the spades break badly. For example, they, they are most likely to break 3-1. Which means that to draw them all, we're going to have to play three rounds of spades. And would only have one left for roughing a heart. Okay, so we do have some heart losers to get rid of. Let's say, let's say that we've got 
we've got two heart losers to get rid of. Clubs, we might lose the king of clubs, depending on where it is, but we can finesse it. If east holds the king of clubs, then we won't, but we need to account for having a club loser. So, what have we got? Three hearts. Did I say two? I think I said two hearts. Three hearts, a club, no diamonds. The diamond suit is solid. With a singleton in our hand. We can, once we've set the club suit up, regardless of whether it we lose to the king of clubs or not, we can discard a diamond. Get rid of one of those losers. And then we've just got to be able to rough the other three which we might be able to do, or we might not. Will depend on the the heart split. So how are we looking? Three heart losers, a club, and we do potentially have a diamond loser. If we're only able to rough two diamonds. Yes, okay. So we've got a few losers. Oh, okay, the club lead is very useful for us. It's going to tell us where the king is, potentially. Well, East didn't take the bait, they didn't rise with the king. So it may well be that West holds the King of Clubs. Let's play a round of spades. Okay, so there we started with four missing. There's now two left. I am going to... Rough a heart. And then I'm actually going to cross over, play another round of spades. I can still rough a heart if they split badly. No, we're all good. Okay, so they've split 2-2. Two, two. The opposition's now out of spades. We've still got the ace of spades over there to rough the jack of hearts if we want. And... We've got three spades here to rough three diamonds. The other diamond can go on the, the last of the clubs. So, for the time being, I need to cross over here and try this club finesse again. I think it's probably losing. I think West probably has the king of clubs. There it is, yep. Yeah. They're going to continue. So I'll throw away. Then I'm going to rough that heart. Now all I've got left is trumps. So I can claim those last three tricks. Making five. So that was all just fine. Yes, we lost the King of Clubs, but we managed to keep our heart losers to one by roughing a couple of hearts as we went about uh, leading out the trumps. So if there was a problem with the trumps, if they did split 3-1, then I was still in a position to rough and we would have been okay. We also didn't necessarily, we could have afforded to lose a heart trick. We still would have made our contract. But it's always good to look for those over tricks. Sit back in my seat. And on to hand six. East is Dela. They have got 4, 7, 11, 13 points. Enough to open. They are not balanced. 
they've got two doubletons and they've got a five card major. So there's two reasons that they're not balanced. They're only allowed one doubleton and no five card majors. So they will just open their longer suit, one spade. One, five, seven, ten, eleven, fourteen. Okay. So a nice big hand here. They don't have a long suit to overcall. There's no five card or longer suit. A uh, nice balanced hand, but only 14 points. Remember, a one no trump overcall is 16 to 18 points, so they're not strong enough, and they don't have any cover in spades. But we can do our takeout double here. We've got at least 12 points. We've got at least three cards in the umbered suits and a shortage in spades. So we can double, telling our partner exactly that. Now West just responds as though the double was never made, and uh, they've only got four points. There's no spade fit, so they're just they're just passing. They don't have the six points that they would need to bid one no trumps or support their partner at the two level with spades. They pass. North three five nine points. They have to bid because their partner has doubled and there's been no intervening bid. Um, they don't actually have a good suit to call, but they do have a nice no trump hand here because they've got cover in the opposition suit of spades. King, queen of spades here. Nice cover in spades. So remember our responses are very similar to as if our partner had opened, given that our partner has shown an opening strength of 12 points. So the point ranges are very similar, except for the fact that we have to bid. So that makes our bottom bottom range zero. In this case, our one no trump bid is still six to nine points, just like it is if our partner had opened one of something. And so with our nine points, and cover in spades and an otherwise balanced hand, we can bid one no trump. East. East has really not got a whole lot to say. They do have another suit that they could show their partner. Got a heart suit here. So they they could potentially bid two hearts, but their partner clearly has nothing, and they've only got, East only has 13 points. Their partner has somewhere in the range of 0 to 5. So the future is quite bleak, to be honest, and the sensible thing would be just to pass. South now knows their partner has 6 to 9 points, balanced hand, some cover in spades, which is what they were missing. They've got 14, I think we decided, 17, 11, 14 points. So their partner has at best 9. Still not enough for game. So we don't have anything further to say. We're just going to leave it in one no trump. We know there's no possibility for game. No long suits to, to call or anything like that. So that's where we will play. One no trump. Okay. Um, East is just going to lead their long suit, it's, and small from their long suit to promise and honour. We are allowed to under lead our ace because it's a no trump contract. So there's no issues with roughing of our our spades later on in the hand that we have to worry about. So we can lead our seven of spades, and then. Let the robots take over. One no trump. This is this can be one of the hardest contracts to make because there's often a lot of holes around the place. Whereas three no trumps, you tend to have things sewn up a bit better. On the other hand, sometimes when you've got 23, 24 points between you. One no trump 
can easily make three no trump. So let's look at what we've got. We're in no trump, so we need to look at our certain winners. At the moment, we don't actually have any in spades, but with king, queen, jack, we we will make two spade tricks. So we can count that suit for two spade tricks. And hearts, we've just got one. And clubs, we don't have any. And diamonds, we've got two. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're, we're two points short. Okay. Uh, two, sorry, two tricks short. So we might be able to make a heart trick. If East is holding the King of Hearts, the finesse will work. We've also got a finesse that we can run in clubs. Um, and I will talk about that more when we come to it. I can't remember if I discussed it in the first revision video or not. Anyway, there's a couple of options there for us. So let's look to the spade suit. I'm just going to lead low. See what comes out. Maybe West will put the ace up for us. No, no such luck. So there's one of our spade tricks. Obviously, we're now going to lose the jack. Everyone can see that the jack is bare on the table, so that's not not going to be of any use to us now. But we've still got our queen of spades that we can make. So now I want to tackle the club suit. Now, when you've quite often when you've got this king jack sort of a holding particularly with stuff under the jack, King Jack 10 here. The You can play towards the jack rather than the king. And by doing that, you're actually finessing the ace and the queen at the same time instead of just the ace. And the only time that it is wrong to do this is when west holds the queen and east holds the ace, because then you're going to lose to the queen and the ace. But on all the other combinations of the ace and the queen, it either makes no difference or it's going to be the, the correct play. So if east holds the queen and west holds the ace, then when you lead towards the jack, if east doesn't put the queen up, you'll play the jack and now you've forced the ace up. And you absolutely know where the queen is now. The queen has to be with east. If West held the ace and the queen, they wouldn't have put the ace on your jack. They would have put the queen on. So now you can get back into your hand and run the finesse again, knowing that the queen is with East. If East holds the ace and the queen, it's a pretty similar scenario in that the finesse of both cards is going to work. If West holds the ace and the queen, it doesn't matter what you do. You're going to lose both of those cards. So that is irrelevant. So on th of the four different combinations, for two of them, it's correct to play to the jack. For one, it's correct to play to the king. And for the other, it doesn't matter what you do. So you're actually two in two out of three scenarios, it's right to play the jack. So that's what we're going to do here. See how we go. Oh, there's the queen. He's put the queen up for us. So obviously now we're going to put the king on. If that forces out the ace, nope. So that would suggest to me that East also has the ace. So I'm going to try and get back into my hand and lead towards the jack-10 so that I can make sure to make both of them. So how do I get to my hand? Ace of diamonds. There's the ace, as expected. And back with the spade, there goes my jack. Probably another spade coming. No, switch to diamonds. Okay, that's quite a good switch. He's um he's taken out my my entry back to my hand. I need I kinda needed him to carry on with spades so that A I can make my Queen of Spades and B I can attempt the club finesse. But he's now by leading a diamond forced me into my hand. I can still make my contract. I've already I've already made four tricks. I've got the jack ten of clubs here and the ace of hearts. So throw out a, oh I can't throw out yet. Throw out a diamond on the next club because the diamond suit is dead to me. I'll take my ace of hearts. 
let's make certain of my contract and maybe they'll lead a spade again at some point but I'm not altogether hopeful no, I still got the king of hearts to lose as well there we go but I made my one no trump so the the plan came to fruition uh, as it turned out East is sitting here with just the ace queen of clubs so we didn't we didn't need to waste our ace of diamonds crossing over to run the run the club finesse again we could actually have just led a small club but there's no way we can know that so he he could equally have held four clubs to the ace queen that's good made our contract Take a seat again. We're halfway through the 12 boards now. Already been over an hour. Uh, sit. Lots to talk about, obviously. Hopefully you all find it useful. I know that some of the stuff that I'm talking about will just go over the head of some people, and that's fine. The most important thing is that you understand the bidding, and if there's any gems that you can glean from the actual play of the hand then that's that's a bonus hand number seven south is dealer they have got 11 points not enough to open pass west four six eight nine also not enough to open North, 4, 6, 10, 13, 15. Okay, they got a good hand. Not balanced, two doubletons and a very long heart suit. So we're just going to open our very long heart suit. One heart from North. Certainly no overcall here, just a balanced hand and weak. 4, 7, 8, 11 points. No heart fit yet. We only know that our partner holds four hearts, so we can't support them in hearts. Remember, we can't see North's hand. So as, as far as we know, they have four hearts. So we've got two four-card suits that we can bid. We bid the lowest available, the one that keeps the bidding the lowest. One spade. Nine points if they got an overcall. Got a five card club suit, but it's only got one honour, and they don't really have enough points to be overcalling at the two level, so nothing to say there. Okay, North, still they can't support spades, they've only got two. They don't have a second suit to show, they're going to rebid their hearts. And they are not strong enough to do that at the three level, even though they've got the six hearts, they need 16 points. Remember, it's 16 to 17, a three heart bid here, a jump, and six hearts. So they're just going to have to bid two hearts, which unfortunately doesn't tell their partner about the six card suit, but at least they're not promising the strong hand that they don't have. 12 to 15 points and five hearts is what that bid means. Definitely no bid from East. Now, South knows about the heart fit. What we don't know is whether there's enough points for game or not. Our partner, If our partner only has 12 points, we've got 11 here in South. That's only 23. But if our partner has, 20, uh, partner has five, 15 points, the top end of the range they've shown us, then 26 is enough for game. So we can invite our partner say hey what have you got have you got enough for game or not you choose three hearts still just pass here and with their 15 points they are definitely top of their range plus they've got another card in the heart suit that their partner doesn't even know about yet so that's uh, easily enough to be going off to game we're playing four hearts the lead from east, there's been no bidding here, I suggest it's probably the Jack of Diamonds. Yep, 
top of a sequence. Always look for those sequences. And we will invite the robots back in. Now that they can't cause too much chaos. Okay. Hide. Okay. Playing in four hearts, first we need to look at our losers. The heart suit, the trump suit, is very solid. We've got the top six honours, so no issues there when we're only missing four cards in the suit. In spades, we do have a loser. We've got a doubleton over here with only the ace, so we've got one spade loser. The other two will easily be ruffable, if that's a word in the long trump suit. Diamonds here, we're definitely going to lose to the Ace of Diamonds. If we're lucky, we might be able to make an extra trick, but I suspect not. If, uh, if we play low now, West might put the Ace of Diamonds up for us, which actually gives us a, a discard, but we don't particularly need it anyway. And, and our clubs are, are solid as well. So a diamond loser, a spade loser. That's it. It looks pretty straightforward, really. For now, we will play small on the diamonds, see what happens. Okay, no, no ace of diamonds is forthcoming. So we better just win that. And let's see what this heart situation is. Six, nine, we're missing four. Three, two, one. So we're going to have to mm, that is a bit of a problem. We've actually got a diamond loser here that we need to be able to rough. So let's give him the ace of diamonds. If he's got a heart, he's probably going to lead it. No. So we're a little bit lucky there. We've still got our heart and dummy, so we're still able to rough that last diamond. Overlooked that in the planning phase. I'll take another look at that afterwards. Draw that last heart. We had to stop drawing the heart so that we could rough the diamond. Now we need to carry on with that. All the hearts are gone now. We've still got a spade to lose, but that's fine. Give them to them now, maybe. Yeah. Rough the club. And ace of spades. All that's left is hearts. We'll claim the last two tricks. Okay, yes, yeah, so when, when I was doing the planning at the start, I should have been more careful with the diamond suit. So we know we've got one diamond loser, but actually, because we've got length and diamonds opposite, opposite the short trump hand see our, our diamond length here opposite the short trumps we may need to rough a diamond before we've drawn all the cl all the trumps which is exactly what I needed to do in the end once I saw that the trump split was bad um, and I got lucky because West held the ace of diamonds but they had no more trumps so they couldn't force out the last trump and dummy, and so I was I was let off the hook, and I I could potentially have lost a a diamond because I wasn't careful enough with my planning. But we got away with it. So making five, and that is why it's so important to do our planning correctly before we start the hand. Because sometimes you don't get a second chance to try and make it right. And sometimes it'll cost you your contract. On to hand eight. West is Dela with three, five, six points and a balanced hand, so they are passing. Four, five, eight, eleven, twelve points from north. And is that a balanced hand? No. Two doubletons. 
only allowed one doubleton in a balanced hand, so we won't be opening one no trump. We'll open our longer suit, which is clubs. Now East has got two, three, seven, ten, fourteen points. Nothing to overcall. Uh, certainly can't overcall one no trumps. Not strong enough. Not balanced. No cover in clubs. So, um, but beautiful hand for a takeout. So these are the best hands for a takeout double because you've actually got not just three cards and all the other suits. You've got four cards and all the other suits. Doesn't matter what your partner bids, you are happy as. So we've got an opening hand, we've got a shortage in clubs, and we've got at least three cards in the unbid suits. Take out double. Now, North just keeps bidding as though the take out double was never even made. So they can, with eight points, they should be responding to their partner. Remember, their partner might have 19 points, so we don't want to just stay quiet. So with eight points, we are just going to bid our longer suit in this case. Very flat hand. Our longer suit is diamonds, and it's only got four cards. One diamond. West is now off the hook. They don't have to bid. Their partner's doubled, but they don't have to bid anymore. They've only got six points. Now, in your notes, we taught you that if there has been an intervening bid after the double, you need eight points to say anything, and that's a constructive bid. So with zero to seven points, you should pass. With eight points, you can bid, and your partner's going to know that you've, you've got something. Here, we only have six points. Interestingly, the sheet says that we should be bidding two hearts, uh, one heart, sorry. Now, I, I don't agree with this. We, we taught you that you need eight points, and it, it shouldn't matter what level you're at, eight points is the number uh, to make a constructive bid. Anything less, you should be passing. So... We are going to pass and see what happens. So the bidding here is going to deviate a bit from what's on your sheet. Okay, so we open clubs. Our partner bid diamonds. We don't care for their diamonds, but we do have a spade suit that we can bid. So we're just going to do that at the minimum level. We're not going to break the barrier because we've only got 12 points. We are just a minimum opening hand. Remember, our partner is 6 plus, so we can't leave them in the cold. We've got to bid. One spade. Show them our second suit. Very likely that promises them promises five clubs to our partner. Very, very likely. All right, the doubler, he's already said his bit. He's uh, he described his hand very nicely with his double. His partner wasn't interested. He's got nothing more to say. Okay, eight points here. There's still no spade fit. Uh, if our partner has five clubs, which is very likely, we now have a club fit. Um, so we we can support our partner. We could bid two clubs, just show minimum club support. Our other option is for a one no trump bid, but we don't have anything in hearts. Given our partner has already shown us two suits, they may not have anything in hearts. And East has said that they have at least, they've probably got a little something in hearts. So uh, I would suggest one no trump is a pretty dangerous bid. So uh, I'm going to go with the two clubs. Okay. West has still got nothing to say. North is just a minimum hand, so if their partner is also minimum, then the game looks very unlikely, particularly in a minor. They also don't have any uh, heart cover. So, past that, and once again, East has already said their piece, so 
two clubs is where we will play this. So this, obviously the play is going to also deviate from uh, what the sheet said because it's a completely different declarer. So here we've got North playing in two clubs, the sheet has West playing in two hearts. So we're going to have to come up with our own lead as well. Um, in this case, we've got a nice sequence in spades, but North has bid spades, so maybe we'll leave that alone and bid our heart sequence instead. Hearts is the only suit they haven't bid. So we'll go for an ace of heart lead. And put the robots in. There we go. Alright, so we're playing in two clubs. We need to look at what our losers are. In clubs we have probably not got any. It's a similar scenario to one of the earlier hands where even if they do split badly, if West holds four to the jack, we're going to know about it quickly enough that we can finesse for the jack of clubs and we'll be all good. Certainly we're going to lose two hearts and probably straight away. In spades, we've got potentially three losers in spades. Although the suit would have to split quite badly. Or even a 4-2 four, a four split. Let's say we've got three losers in spades, but it's probably not going to be quite that bad. In diamonds, we've got just the one loser, just the ace of diamonds. So the diamond, there's certainly nothing we can do about our hard losers. We're going to lose them right here and now. The diamond suit offers some options, but we're going to need a way to get back into dummy, which may have to come from the clubs. So the the way that we play the clubs, we may have to hope for a 3-2 club split and play the king first and then across to the ace-queen, having already lost the, the to the ace of diamonds. The other option is we could overtake the jack of diamonds with the queen of diamonds but then it doesn't guarantee us that we can make a fourth diamond trick. And if the defenders are smart, they won't play their ace of diamonds on the first trick. They'll play it on the second, and that's not going to help us much. So I think we're just going to have to hope f for a nice split in clubs. Try and force out the ace of diamonds before we play the last round of clubs. And that should hopefully give us a couple of spade, uh, a couple of discards on the diamond suit. We can get rid of some spade losers. We'll take our medicine and oh, he's switching, switching to spades. That's uh, that's a clever switch. Potentially, that's going to upset our planning. Because now if we lose to the Ace of Diamonds, they can run their spade tricks. So we may just have to hope that the spade suit is well behaved. We're still missing the King Jack 10. But if they split evenly, it's not such a big problem. They also might squash each other's honours if we're lucky. Let's see what happens with the diamonds. There's the ace. Okay. Carry on in spades. Oh, there we go. Jack King. So there's actually only the 10 above our 8 9 now. So we're only going to lose one more spade. Three. 
three clubs left. Nah. Bad club split. West held the dreaded four to the jack. Oh well. We will see if we can we can throw out a a heart. And a spade. We're certainly going to make our contract anyway. There we go. Just made our contract. And we're probably going to lose the last two. Jack of Clubs will be the last. There we go. Oh, we still haven't managed to make our contract. The suggested contract of two hearts, um, we can look at this now and say, well, if East West were playing in two hearts, looking at the heart suit, we can see it splits 3 2, so they're not going to lose any heart tricks. They can draw the trumps in three rounds, no, no problem. They will lose a club trick, maybe more, because they may not be able to rough enough. Uh, spades are looking pretty good though. They'll lose a spade and then have set up two discards on this suit. So they might discard a couple of clubs. And the diamonds, it looks like they've got two diamond losers. They'll be able to rough the third one. There'll be an extra heart in West Hand for that. So two diamonds, a spade, in a club. So they'd make three hearts. So, yeah. Two clubs is making is not so bad for us then, is it? Oops, still on a reserve. Sit myself back down. Right, on to board nine. North is dealer with one, five, eight, eleven points. Not enough. So they will pass. East, four, six, seven, ten, fourteen, fifteen points. Lovely hand. Unbalanced. Singleton and a five card major. So open their longer suit, which is spades. South has just got seven points and a balanced hand, so definitely nothing to say there. West, four, five, seven points. No spade support. Their suit is clubs, but they cannot show a new suit at the two level. They need ten points to bid two clubs. So their bid of last resort is one no trump. Showing six to nine points, any shape, denying four spades, denied the spade fit. North, 11 points, still really don't have anything to say. Now back to East, they can now show their second suit to their partner, show them, show them that heart suit. The question is how, at what level, do we have enough to break the barrier? 15 points, no. We need we need 16 if we want to break the barrier. So we can just bid two hearts, promising 12 to 15 points, five spades and four hearts. Lovely descriptive bidding. Now West basically has to choose between those two suits. Uh, in this case, they don't really like either. We, as far as we know, we have a seven card fit in spades and a six card fit in hearts. So we're just going to go to the lesser of the two evils, which is spades, and just bid two spades. And based on that bidding, our partner should actually recognize that, that m it may not be promising a fit. It might just be that that's the best thing that they can do that spades is better than hearts and 
those are the only two options they had. So 15 points, 6 to 9 points from our partner, maybe not even a spade fit. Uh, we're just going to pass. Just play it safe. And the lead from south, spades and hearts have been bid. I suggest maybe, uh, well they might do the ten of diamonds as a sequence. What does it say? Oh no, they're going for the long suit. Small club. That's fine as well. Small club lead. Let the robots back in. Okay, they're playing in two spades, and we see that, yes, we do not have a spade fit. We're going to leave, we ca could be losing to the king of spades, possibly another one, particularly given the shortness in the suit. So let's go ahead and say we're going to lose two spade tricks. Um, we've got the Ace King of Hearts and a Doubleton in West, but we're going if we're going to rough those Hearts, we're going to have to do it early before we draw the, the Spades. So we've got two two Heart losers to think about. One Club loser, potentially others, depending on roughing abilities, and we've got. We're de definitely going to lose to the King of Diamonds as well. So we've got a diamond. Oh, not definitely. We may the finesse, the diamond finesse could work, but we we might lose to the King of Diamonds. So that's a diamond, a club, two hearts, two spades, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's one too many. So we need to we need to reduce our losers somewhat. The obvious thing to do is to look at the heart suit and rough a couple of hearts so we'll look to do that quite early um, take our let them win their club switch to spades so they've potentially recognized that we're going to want to use that hearts spade suit for some roughing and they're taking that option away from us now if we we could let the spade run around to the 10 and if south has the king then we'll lose the trick but then we'll have the ace queen jack 10 we'll all be good and we're probably pretty well set in the spades from then on at that point though south could then lead another spade and we won't be able to rough any hearts but the hearts aren't looking that great anyway and I would like to be able to do the diamond finesse hmm. no, let's, let's put the ace up, I'm going to put the ace up and then I'm going to try and rough one heart and after I've roughed that heart I'll then attempt the diamond finesse of course the spade finesse might have worked but there's not really any way to know so I need to unblock the suit, the heart suit, play across to the shorthand first then come back And then I'll get in my spade, my rough, heart rough, and I can attempt the diamond finesse as planned. And that has worked. Unfortunately, chances are I'm still going to lose to the king of diamonds unless north started with only two diamonds to the king. So we're still missing, there's still four trumps out, including the king of spades. 
there it is, 3, 2. So that spade finesse would have failed. King of Diamonds wasn't a doubleton. There's two spades left. One, zero. Well, that was nice. At least they split evenly. Something's going our way. Our contract should be pretty safe here. We, we we're not going to win these two red. We're going to lose to the King of Diamonds, and then we've still got to lose a heart. But then our last two spades are good. So we can claim the last two tricks. So we actually made, managed to make three there. Despite it looking like quite a messy hand, we didn't even have a fit, but thankfully the spade split 3-3. Three, three. We managed to make the diamond finesse work, so that was a gave us another diamond trick. And we did actually manage to rough one of our heart losers, even though they attacked our trump suit. All of those things combined allowed us to make one over trick, two spades making three. Deal. Time for board 10, where East is dealer, 3, 4, 7, 9, 12, 13 points, and a balanced hand, just the one doubleton, so they are 12 to 14, balanced, one no trump. South has got an opening hand of their own. They've got 12 points here, but nothing to say. There's no there's no overcall they can make. You can't do a takeout double of one no trump, because what does that even say? Given that a takeout double promises a shortage in the opposition suits, and the opposition hasn't bit a suit, it makes no sense. So we're just going to pass. Okay, West. One, two, two points. Two miserable points. No five card suit of their own, so they can't perform a weak takeout. They're just going to have to pass as well. Which, if it gets left in one no trump, is going to be particularly nasty. With only 16 points at most between you. But North has got 13 points and a lovely long heart suit, so they're going to overcall their heart suit. They've got no idea what the situation at the table is and just how badly one no trump is going to go. Remember, West could have 10 points. He doesn't know that they've only got two. So, two heart overcall from North promising close to an opening hand and a five card heart suit with two honours. East, if you'll remember when I introduced the one no trump opening bid, I told you just how descriptive that was, and so if there was no bid from your partner, there is no need for you to bid again, because you've already described your hands so well. So just a pass from East. 12 points here, a guaranteed 9 card heart fit, and an opening hand, remember an overcall at the two level promises an opening hand or very close to an opening hand. So that in my book is good enough for us to get to game. A nine card fit at, at least 24 points or very close to that. So four hearts. It's also going to be quite, it should be quite easy to play because you know where most of the opposition's points are going to be. They'll all be with, with the opener with East. So, opening lead from East. 
maybe uh, be a small spade or a small club. Sometimes uh, you prefer not to lead from holdings like King Jack and Ace Queen, just in case you're sitting over the other the honor that's in between. So we'll need a small. And queen Queen Ten is, I guess, the same, except not as likely, it's less likely to be useful. A bit lower. So we'll lead a small club, and then we're not leading away from our split spade honours. Robots back in to do their thing. All right, so we're playing in four hearts. We need to count our losers. So in hearts, we have the king of hearts to worry about. Hopefully the heart split 2-1. They are more likely to. Um, but we do have that king of hearts, which is a potential loser. The spade suit is fine, we can rough the three spade losers. We have got two losers in diamonds. And we should be all good for yeah, we will be all good for clubs. We can we can always rough that third club. Even if the heart split three zero, we'll still have a heart in South's hand to rough with. So Heart loser. Two diamond losers. Doesn't look too bad. We can, if the king of diamonds is with east, is that likely? Who did the one no trump over call? Uh, the one no trump opener was west. Was it? No, it was east. Was east, yeah. One no trump over call was east. Oh, sorry, the one no trump opener was east, so we know that they have 12 to 14 points. Between us, we've got 4, 6, 8, 12, 15, 19, 21, 25. 25 points. East has got 12 to 14. That's 37 to 39. That means West has got between 1 and 3 points. Okay, so... It's quite unlikely that West holds the King of Diamonds. So there's a good chance that we can finesse the King of Diamonds and therefore only lose one diamond trick, so that'll be nice. And by the same token, we are very likely to lose the Heart finesse. The King of Hearts is more likely to be with East than with West. Anyway, let's see how the Nine of Clubs gets on. Look at that. Nine of Clubs. And now we can actually throw away a Diamond Loser. It's probably not going to be that useful, but... Anyway, we're here. Let's run this heart finish. See what pans out. Here's the Jack, so that's good. I don't think he would have put the jack up without needing to, so uh, it's probably a singleton jack, and then east has king three, no, king seven. So there's the king, as expected. Just win that with the ace, there's no need to do the spade finesse. And we need to draw out this last... There we go. King seven was there. Singleton Jack with West. So East was always making the King of Hearts. There was no way we could stop that. Now we can unblock this club suit. And 
really doesn't matter what I do. Uh, West has already showed us they have the Jack of Hearts, so there's one point they can't have the Jack of Hearts and the King of Diamonds. Therefore, uh, the Diamond Finesse is working. So, but it, it actually it makes no difference what we do here. So East should put up the King of Diamonds. There it is. As expected. And we're just roughing everything else. There we go. Just hearts left in North Hand, so we'll claim the rest. Once again, we made an overtrick. Just losing the King of Hearts and the King of Diamonds. Easy, huh? Sit back in my seat. Two more boards to go. Sit. Right. On to board 11. South is dealer with 1, 5, 8, 9, 12, 13, 17 points. 17 points, they're not balanced because of this. They're five card major. Remember, in a balanced hand, we are not allowed a five card major. We can have a five card minor, that's okay. Not a five card major. 17 points, we would have been looking at a no trump rebid anyway. It's too strong to open one no trump, but in this case, we, we won't even be looking at that because we're not balanced. So we're just going to open one heart. Open our longer suit. Three, five, nine, eleven points, and a nice spade suit here. So we have a one spade over call from West. North has got two, five, six, just a measly seven points. Um, but a nice heart fit. Lovely big heart fit. So North is just. Six to nine points, so they're they're just going to show a, a minimum hand to their partner. Support them in their heart suit. We immediately confirm the fit, but just at the two level to show that six to nine point range. The bottom the bottom level is responder minimum level. Only four points with East, so that's uh, that's not enough to support their partner in spades. Even though they do have quite a fistful of them. So, it's going to pass. Okay, partner likes her heart suit. No, what did we just say? We had 17. 1, 5, 8, 9, 12, 13, 17 points. So that's pretty lovely, isn't it? So, Opposite six to nine, we're actually at in that middle level, that invitational level, sixteen to seventeen points. We might have enough for game, but we just don't know. If our partner only has six points, where that's only twenty three, not enough for game. If they got nine, more than enough for game. So we're gonna invite them to game with our three heart bid. Uh, no more bid there, they said their piece. Now it's quite high, we're up at the three level. So, three, five, six, eight. Our partner's invited us to game, do we go or not? Are we top or bottom of our range? We promised our partner six to nine points. So we are at the top end of that. Add to that the fact that we've got five card support and a singleton and a doubleton. There's, there's a lot of shape going on here. Four hearts should be a piece of cake, I would think. So I'm going to bid four hearts. Pass, pass, pass. Okay, a lead. Uh, King of Spades looks pretty good to me. Yep, King of Spades. Top of a broken sequence. King, Qu King Queen 10. Robots back in for the penultimate time. And 
hide them away. Okay. Okay, we've got a lovely team card fit with just about all the top cards. Oh, it is all the top cards. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, yep. So we're missing the 2, 3, 4 of hearts. So nothing to worry about in the heart suit. Clearly we're going to lose a spade straight away, and then we'll be able to rough the other one. So we've got one spade loser. The diamond suit is also solid as... Not going to lose any diamonds. And we will get two discards on the diamond suit. That is not enough to save us from a club loser though. You can see that the the long diamond suit is also opposite the long club suit. So we'll be able to play three rounds of diamonds and then get two discards which will allow us to throw away two clubs but we're still going to lose to the ace of clubs. So we should lose we should lose two tricks again. Like like we have every time we've played in four, I think. Oh, we might lose more. That was clever. So if we go back to that previous trick, you can see that East has actually overtaken the King of Spades with the Ace and then switched to clubs. So they're now leading through our vulnerable club honours. So we might now lose two clubs, which is still fine. We're still going to make our contract. It's not a problem. Um, but depending on what's going on here, who has the ace of clubs? I'm going to play the jack. I'm going to assume that east has not underled the ace and that west, or hopefully east has the queen. Jack, queen. Okay, no good. Let's see where that ace is. Yeah, the ace was there anyway, so we, we couldn't do anything about that. And now, just in case... Just in case E started with a doubleton club, there's some kind of crazy distribution going on, I'm going to rough instead of letting it run to my king of clubs. I don't need to win the king of clubs. Throwing a diamond out is of no value to me. So the safe play is just to rough in case... Casey started with a double tin and clubs. We do not lose anything by taking that safety play. One more heart to go. They started with three. There it is. And now we can play out the diamond suit. We're not even going to need to rough the spade. We can throw it out on the diamonds and claim the last three. That was well defended by the robots. That was as, as good as they could get. With him uh, overtaking this, the spade, he could see... East could see that there was no point in anyone continuing with spades because of the singleton and dummy. And so... He felt that the best play was to overtake and then switch to clubs, which is potentially vulnerable because there's no club honours around here. They're leading around to weakness. Uh, so it's, it's clever play by it's clever play by the robot. Well done. The robots aren't always that clever, especially the basic ones. Here on Bridge Base, you can pay for. Uh, basic robots, which are one dollar for a week, unlimited use, or you can pay for advanced robots, which are one dollar a day for unlimited use. And um, I've always just gone with the basic robots. They seem to do they they do all right most of the time. It's just the bidding you can't trust them with because they don't play echo. Right, final hand, hand twelve. Here we go. West is dealer on our last hand. 3, 7, 8, 10, 12, 13 points. Not balanced. Two doubletons here, so we'll open our longer suit. One diamond. 4, 7, 11, 12 points for North. They can't overcall. 
not strong enough for no trumps and they don't have a five card suit to overcall so can we double we've definitely got a diamond shortage Four, seven. we've got the 12 points we need and we've got three cards in the umbered suit so we're good for our takeout double now east is going to bid as if the double was never there to six points they're actually going to show the heart suit before confirming the diamond fit we're going to show our heart suit just in case there's also a heart a heart fit we can always come back to diamonds that's fine one heart from east let's talk about that heart suit south has got two three six nine points so that is enough to bid even though there's been an intervening bid from east remember eight plus eight is great eight is the number we need to be constructive to still make a bid and obviously we've got this lovely spade suit we're guaranteed a spade fit with our partner so we can bid our spade suit we're probably actually going to want to bid one spade is probably going to be a little bit weak just because we know we have a fit we probably want to try and push them up a little bit higher especially when we know we've got our, pa our partner's got an opening hand it's only it's only nine points but with a guaranteed nine card fit it's worth promising a little bit more and at the same time shutting the opposition out of the bidding a bit more so we'll bid two spades instead of just one spade so it was just a minimum a minimum bid here the rebid west rebid would have been clubs but they're now going to have to do that at the three level which they're not really strong enough for just as a minimum hand uh, if they're if their partner has a little something then they can keep the bidding going but the, a pass is quite nice here because it does just say hey I'm a minimum hand so pass Four, seven, 11, 12 well they're just a minimum minimum hand they're also very flat they know if their partner had 13 points that they would have gone straight to game so Yeah, there's not. It doesn't look like there's any point in bidding on here. A flat minimum hand, so we'll just pass. And this east could potentially go back to diamonds at this point, but again, they're going to have to do that at the three level, which is going to promise a lot more than six points. No, bidding at the three level is a, that's the ten to ten to twelve range for responder, so. They're a long way off that 10 to 12 range, so they'll just pass as well. And South gets to play in two spades. The opening lead. Well, we could lead our partner's suit, which does happen to be a doubleton. Uh, but it's not great. Split honours there. You may just be setting up the king for the king of hearts for declarer. Might be just a better option to lead our own suit, lead our broken sequence. Top of our broken sequence. And that is what we will do. Invite the robots back in for the final time this evening. And here we go. Alright, we're playing in two spades. As always with our suit contracts, we need to figure out how many losers we have. So in the spade suit, we're going to lose the king of spades, and that is all. So one spade loser. In hearts, we've got potentially two heart losers. If, for example, east held the ace-queen, we're not going to make our king of hearts. 
It is interesting though that West hasn't led Hearts despite their partner bidding them. That could be an indication that West holds the Ace of Hearts. So, something to think about. In clubs we are missing the Queen of Clubs. So that's a loser there. And in Diamonds, because they've led Diamonds, we will only lose one Diamond. If East puts the Ace up now, then our King is good. If they don't, then we're going to win with the King now and just lose to the Ace at some other point. So, Spade loser, two hearts, club is four, diamond is five. So we're actually looking good for two spades, but we've got some options. We've got the spade finesse that we can run. We can run the queen of spades, and if the king is with west, we won't lose our spade trick anymore. If the ace of hearts is with west, which we have a suspicion it might be, then we'll only lose one heart. Uh, we've also got the club finesse, which we can run in either direction. So if we get that right, we won't lose a club. And we should always lose a diamond. We should probably lose a diamond right now. Let's see. No, not yet. So n now, potentially, if all our other things play nicely, we might not have to lose a diamond. Let's see what happens with the spades. So we're going to run the queen of spades from our hand and just see whether West puts the king on it or not. There's the king, so we take the trick. We started with missing four spades, now we're down to two. And they are all looking solid. Now that the king's out, one, zero. Okay, spades are all gone. Now we're going to tackle the club suit. Unfortunately, we've got no idea where the king is, or the queen of clubs is, and we can run the finesse in either direction. So we've just got to pick something and go for it. I'm going to choose to finesse towards the big hand. So first I'll play the king of clubs, just in case. Ten. Ah, oh, look at that. Now, unfortunately, my nine of clubs is good, but if I play across to the nine, I can't get back to the jack. I've played eight clubs, 19-11. There is still two out. So it's possible, they'll sp oh, no, they're not going to split evenly. Well, who knows, maybe my six of clubs is good. Or maybe... I'm... <laughs> What I'm contemplating here is I would quite like East to lead me a heart. I know East is out of clubs and spades. If they win, if I lead a diamond here and East wins the trick, then they will either lead me a heart, in which case I'm guaranteed to make my king, or they'll lead another round of diamonds, in which case I can throw out a heart and rough the diamond in the other hand. It's called an elimination play. But it's only gonna uh, they're not gonna take the they're not gonna take the bait. Now he'll probably lead a heart through. Oh no club. Oh well, we'll see. We we always suspected that West held the ace of hearts, so let's see. Yeah, there it is. So we're actually making far too many tricks here. We've got the last three. So 
So we've grossly underbid. Two spades making five. So we, if we had been in game, we would have made 650 for, for four spades making five. Because we're only in two, we get 200 for two spades making five. So um, as you'll see there, plus 200. So that's the, that's what you get for missing out on your game bonus, particularly when you're vulnerable. But uh, w I mean, we got pretty lucky. The spade finesse worked, the heart finesse worked. We got the club finesse right, so that worked. And actually, the diamond finesse works because you can see that the diamond is if you if if we weren't given a diamond lead and we were forced to play the diamond suit ourselves, the ace of diamonds is in the right spot for the diamond finesse to work. So there's about four finesses in there that are all working, which is highly unusual. So, yeah, pretty lucky, really, under the circumstances. So that's us. That's all 12 boards from the revision session, the second revision session. Uh, hopefully you all find something useful in here. If you have any comments or questions, please just uh, put them on the the YouTube video and I'll be more than happy to answer. Um, feel free to spread the link around and to anyone that you think might get some use out of it. As I said, the the link to the hand record will be on the video also, so you'll be able to print that out. And um, otherwise we'll see you for the next one. As always, been a pleasure. Bye.